What's up, money makers? I just want you to know that YouTube owns me. But um, just kind of the topic of today's video. Isn't it crazy how none of us really know what the algorithm is, but yet we all are like slaves to it? But, like, it's wild because like a lot of people could not tell you how the algorithm works in the first place. And uh, I'm one of those people, you know, I have no sort of clue. Um, and I try to be like pretty good about it. I try to like know um, or be in the know as far as that stuff goes. But it's hard because, you know, it, you never know what it's going to do. Like, I'll put an example up. When I was recording my Big Flips Fridays videos, I would spend like a good, good amount of time like editing and dealing with those. Yet, somehow, those videos never did well. Um, I don't think I had was a single one that did well. But um, it's just kind of funny because the video that I have most recently uploaded, um, which is just a video of me flipping that I made in like two seconds on the, uh, <laughs> on the fly in my backyard or whatever. And that video somehow managed to blow up like crazy compared to all the rest of them. So I don't know how that is. Like, I think it's like my most popular short of all time. It's got like 11... 11,000 views yet I couldn't tell you why or what's good about it and maybe because it's looped maybe I'm not really sure but all of this is just to say that there's no real way for me to even know what YouTube wants because they sort of just promote whatever you know what I'm saying and it's nothing against them right but I just wanted to say that like at the start when I first started this journey I thought to myself, you know, I really want to be that guy that like knows the algorithm, uploads the stuff that YouTube wants and really figures it out. And I try to study my posts and look at the ones that are doing well, look at the ones that are doing bad, look at the ones that are doing mediocre. And somewhere along the line, I sort of just realized like, man, there is a certain level of unpredictability with this that I just can't manage. Um, and so that kind of was something that I had to come to terms with um along those lines just because it's like what am i gonna do just be miserable for the rest of my life trying to figure out this algorithm and so i guess it's really just to say that like at the end of the day you got to make content that makes you happy or that you like and um you can think about it but don't stress about it that's the difference you know what i'm saying i guess that's what i would say is like the main difference between when i first started versus now like i'll just post what i want to post and um, not have any sort of care about it. And, I, you know, at times I'll try to optimize. Like, if I see something's doing well, I'm going to keep doing that. Like, for example, that last video I uploaded, no music, no talking, only flipping. It was very short and it was looped. So this upcoming short that I'm going to do, I'm not going to have music or talking. Um, but I'm not going to loop it. I'm going to see if the loop is the biggest factor. You know what I'm saying? And kind of reverse engineer it that way. But, um... That doesn't, damn, this thing's kind of hard to get grip on that zero G. All that is just to say that you never really know. But, um, so yeah, kind of an interesting little thing, kind of an interesting little moment that I had with this. So, I don't know. Damn, I am bad. I got this bad boy out here in the grass, though, because I do not want to damage this bell. So, I really have not cared when, when I've had clones. Like, that's the thing. One thing I will say about clones is, like, I really do not give a damn um, about their longevity. Just because it's not like they have any sort of guaranteed longevity anyway. They're clones. But, um, and that might be kind of controversial. I don't want to piss anybody off. But, like, this, I'm going to take care of this. I'm only going to flip it really in the grass or somewhere I know it's safe. Um, I'm going to keep it in good condition, keep the tolerances pretty good. But something like the, even the Chab clone, like, I beat that thing. That's what the clones are for for getting beat up you know what i'm saying at least that's the way i feel about the issue damn i say all this and then i start <laughs> start dropping it but sorry about the wind too like i know it's probably pretty annoying um but yeah that's kind of why i want to come out here and just kind of rant about some stuff it's just youtube's algorithm is unpredictable un unknowable so just to me it just seems to be one of those things where it's like i'm not going to stress myself about it so Whoa, that was almost bad. I'm not gonna stress myself trying to figure out the algorithm just to 
just to be like, oh, well, I was wrong. I'll do a little here and there's, but it's not my number one priority, at least not uh, anymore, it's not. So there's that to know. And um, yeah, and as far as clones, I, I don't really want to safeguard them or like, you know, safe queen a clone, especially because it's like, people are not going to be like impressed by that anyway. She dug into the dirt. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about clones. Do you safeguard your clones? Um, let me know about the algorithm. Do you guys have any sort of weird tips about the algorithm? Anything that you've noticed or you feel like is kind of a big thing for YouTube's algorithm for some reason? Let me know. I know too, like I'm probably, probably if I had trainers only, um, YouTube might like that a little more, but I'm not gonna do that. I like Live Blades a lot. Live Blade to me is the superior, but I'm not gonna get into any arguments with anybody about why that is just because I feel like that's like a stupid argument. It's like, what's the point, you know? I've already, got, I've already gone down that road and uh, some of you will know what I'm talking about, especially Meltdown 357, which by the way, the other day I had a conversation with Meltdown. Sorry if this video is getting a little long. I don't know if you guys like that or don't like that. But by the way, I had a video where I talked with Meltdown, uh, or not a video, but a conversation on YouTube. And I was like, Meltdown, you know, what you been up to, you know? He's like talking about life and stuff. And then he said at some point that he was busy. And I was like, that's, uh, that's, that's misfortunate, or I hope you get less busy. And he goes, oh no, I've been busy doing family stuff. Like, and I'm like, think he's like I had a lot of fun while I was busy and I'm just thinking to myself like yes dude that's what I'm talking about spending time with your family is number one and like sometimes we forget that like being busy is a good thing you know yeah you know it's sometimes hard being the guy that's busy but being busy is a good thing usually and so we shouldn't forget that you know when we're out here in life and just doing things like really that kind of inspired me meltdown inspired me with that um, which, by the way, he has a video out talking about clones, which was pretty good. Um, so check that out. But yeah, you know, like being busy is, is not necessarily a bad thing. It's not something where it's like, oh, I'm busy. Time to be miserable. It's like, no, be, you know, being busy is the key to, you know, having a fulfilled life. And you can't just think that being busy is always a necessarily bad thing. So I don't know. Just something to consider. Anyways, I've been ranting too long, so go out there, be busy, have fun, flip clones or not clones if you want, beat up your clones, beat those clones up, and um, what's the other shit I was talking about? Oh yeah, figure out the algorithm so that we can all get rich together, which by the way, I was thinking about doing a video about how um, monetization works, even though I'm not actually monetized at the moment, but let me know, let me, <laughs> let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in. Let's finish this off with behind the eight ball into that aerial catch. All right, sweet, rock on.